Zimbabwe opposition lodges appeal against election result. Zimbabwe's MDC opposition party lodged a court bid Friday to overturn the results of presidential elections that it alleges were rigged to ensure victory for Robert Mugabe's successor, Emerson and Gagwa. The Movement for Democratic Change MDC, has accused the ruling ZANU-PF party and the Election Commission of ballot fraud in the July 30th vote, Zimbabwe's first poll since the ousting of Mugabe in November. We will rest when this country is liberated. Jameson Timba, a senior member of the MDC, told journalists outside the Constitutional Court after party lawyers arrived accompanied by plastic boxes full of paperwork. Party leader Nelson Chamiza tweeted, Our legal team successfully filed our court papers. We have a good case and cause. And Gagwa, who is seeking to reverse Zimbabwe's economic isolation and attract desperately needed foreign investment, had vowed the elections would be fair, and would turn a page on Mugabe's repressive 37-year rule. International monitors largely praised the conduct of the election itself, although EU observers said that Anne Gagwa, a former longtime Mugabe ally, benefited from an unlevel playing field and some voter intimidation. And Gagwa narrowly won the presidential race with 50.8% of the vote, just enough to avoid a runoff against the MDC's Nelson Chamiza, who scored 44.3%. Delayed inauguration? The MDC, which had seven days in which to file its petition, arrived at the court less than an hour before it closed. Analysts say that the legal challenge has little chance of success given the court's historic tilt towards ZANU PF which has ruled since independence from British colonial rule in 1980. But the court action is set to delay Anne Gagwa's inauguration, scheduled for Sunday. The court has 14 days to rule on the case and could declare a winner, call another election, or order a runoff or recount, according to the Veritas Legal Group. The inauguration should take place within 48 hours of the court's ruling, it added. MDC party lawyer Thanbani Pofu last week said that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's figures grossly, mathematically failed to tally. He said the party had evidence for the purposes, not just of mounting a credible and sustainable challenge, but that will yield a vacation of the entire process. The aftermath of the election has been marred by allegations of a crackdown on opposition members, including beatings and arrests. On August 1st, Soldiers opened fire on MDC protesters, killing six people and sparking an international outcry. Opponents targeted. Also on Friday, lawyers for senior opposition figure tend to asked judges to throw out charges against him over the protests against alleged election fraud, in a case raising further international concern about the new government. Diplomats and election observers were present at the hearing in Harare after Beatty fled to Zambia but was handed back to Zimbabwean police despite claiming asylum. He faces charges of inciting the protests last week by proclaiming victory for the opposition. Zimbabwe faces a terrible threat from a group of people that has no respect for the law, Beatty, who was granted bail Thursday, told the court. And Gaganar wrote on Twitter that Beatty was released after he intervened personally in the case. The Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission, established under the 2013 Constitution, on Friday released a damning report into the post-election crackdown. It said it had received numerous complaints of intimidation, often by men in military uniform, of voters thought to have backed the opposition. The ZHRC has established that there is hunting down and harassment of polling agents for independent candidates and opposition political parties, it said. The EU, US, Canadian and Australian missions to Zimbabwe urged authorities to guarantee BD's safety and human rights, and said they were deeply disturbed by continuing reports that opposition supporters are being targeted by members of the Zimbabwean security forces. The President, ZANU-PF and the Electoral Commission have denied all charges of cheating.